I can't help it, but my brain wants things that are more in fashion. I am lazy slash have ADHD and try to cut corners as much as possible. Cute. Get that dopamine. Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. At least I think it's Vlogmas Day 6. How are we all doing today? Today's date is December 13th. In case anyone's curious where this lands in the timeline of things. I know these videos are kind of like, they're very different from traditional Vlogmas because I mean they're not in sequential order, but I'm still having lots of fun. Oh, I just realized we're officially halfway through the videos. If only this young, naive Kim knew how late these were being posted, slash, how FCKED the whole, 12 days of Vlogmas concept is because of how late they're being uploaded. It's not obvious by the upload times. I do think that I'm gonna end up having to upload some videos after December 25th. Hoping it'll just be like one or two. She knew so little. That's just in case you're curious about what's going on. I am currently on my break at work. I work at a microbrewery for anyone that is new here. I was supposed to get up this morning and go for a run, but that just did not happen. But that's okay. We are not beating ourselves up for it. I would say that I will go after work. However, one, it'll be very dark out and that's just terrifying and also kind of dangerous. And two, I actually have plans after work, which is going to Mary Ann Bright. Mary Ann Bright is, um, it's like a light, a light, um... I'd say it's an event, but it's not really like an event. I'll say it's a show, but it's not really a show. It's um, an activity, a lights activity, like a, a Christmas lights activity. It's the Mon Botanical Garden. That's an area for the students of Mon Memorial University of Newfoundland. That's actually where I finished half of my biochem degree. Whether or not I'll finish the other half. Time will tell. It's a uh, botanical gardens there for some of the students that work within that field to help fundraise. They do this light show every year. So they decorate the entire place. It's like a little walk. Like, you know, you can kind of walk around the whole property and they decorate everything. I went to it for, I think, the past three or four years in a row now. So I did want to make a trip to go again this year. And I'm actually being accompanied by my dad, who is a fan favorite. Everybody loves my dad. And I get it. I love my dad too. He's a great human being. He's going to be joining me for Mary and Bright. I'm a little disappointed because I was hoping it would be snowy for this event as it's just so much cuter when it's snowy. Last year when I went, it was like actual torrential rain. It was downpouring, which made it still fun, but just less enjoyable. Like it's really cutesy when it's all snowy. What can you do? I can't control the weather. I'm not weather nature. I think most of the snow that we did have has melted or is like ice now. That's all you can do. It'll still be really cute. So we are going to do that later, but I did just want to start the vlog before then as I get off at six and it starts at seven. So I thought that it might be a little bit hard to intro the vlog with some like a small period of time either way i am at work i'm on my break it's not a super long break i only get 30 minutes so i do have to be swift and i am about to go pick up a little starbies working especially has fueled my addiction for starbucks and it's just it's the best part of my day that's how i justify it i do spend too much money at starbucks for sure but it makes me happy i enjoy it it brightens my mood and sometimes that's just more important isn't it at least for me. Okay, let's go to Starbucks. I ordered on the app because I just can't, I can't handle the physical anxiety of ordering through the actual drive-thru. And it also, because I have such a short break, I always order online so I can just pop in, pop out, and I'm not late getting back. All right, Starbucks, here I come. Thank you. Have a good one. Make sure the lid is on this time. Nothing hits quite like that. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck, the cold home is so good. Also, little crunchies on top, little um, chestnut praline topping crunchies. Mmm. Oh. Fuck, it's so good. How is it so good? I always let myself have a few sips of like just the cold foam, but then I mix it up so that the whole coffee tastes delightful. I could just eat that shit. Like I could literally just order like a cup of cold foam and I'd have no issues scarfing it down. But then the whole coffee gets like nice and creamy and sweet and delicious when you do mix it up. Um, no, 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 So good. All right, I gotta get back to work, so I'm going to head off, but I will see you later for Mary and Bright. This may be the weirdest angle ever, but um, we are home from work. I am getting ready for Mary and Bright. I have like 10 minutes before my dad gets here, but I'm trying to put a cute little fit together because it's the season for cute fits. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a turtleneck of some sorts, but it is gonna be pretty cold. So I might even keep this on and then put a turtleneck over top. And I am also going to put leggings under my jeans. Let's just see what this looks like. Okay. It could be cute. I am gonna tuck it in. Actually, I'm gonna put the leggings on underneath this first. So that's why I tuck it and do all those things when I know that I'm gonna wear leggings. Okay, I'm gonna put leggings on just one moment.
Leggings are on. It also helps because I can tuck it into the leggings instead of just tucking it into my jeans. Cute. Very cute. I'm probably going to put some bigger earrings in as well. Not that. That'll even be noticeable, but whatever. Could do my big cutesy looking hoops. These guys. Or I could just do a regular bigger hoop. Decisions, decisions. I suck at making decisions. Come on, Kim. I'm just gonna go with the regular hoop, I think. Fuck it. Okay, cute. What else? I'm gonna wear a hat. Oh, I'll show you the shoes. These are the shoes. It's like a platform Chelsea boot. They're not even gonna be able to see them on me. So I'll show you once I have them on. Okay, cute. Now we just need the coat. Pause again, I should've just got it. I'm an idiot. This is the coat I was thinking. It's like a long pea coat. I thrifted this recently and I'm obsessed with it. It has these like puffed shoulders. Very cute. Something about it feels a bit off to me and I think it's the belt, but I don't really have another belt that I wear. I do have a small black one. Nope, that looks awful. Okay, great. It's just off. I wore my black turtleneck the other night, so I kind of wanted to switch it up a bit, but I do think it will look better with this, so I'm gonna try that. I'm being an outfit repeater. Well, I mean, I wore it with a skirt, but I wore this turtleneck and the, uh, the black coat together, so I feel like it's doing like the same kind of thing, you know what I mean? But whatever. I already feel like this looks better. Something with the white with these jeans just wasn't really doing it for me. Okay, let's put these layers back on. Oh yeah, that's instantly much, much better. I think this looks cute. I'll show you in a mirror. Okay, here's what we are working with. My face looks not ideal because I worked all day, but whatever. You can't always have makeup on, can you? I think this looks cute though. These are the shoes, platforms, love them. I thrifted these. I thrift everything. Pretty much everything you see me wear, I've, I have thrifted, so. All right, I'm gonna use the washroom and I'm gonna go check outside because my dad is almost 100% here. So we'll see you at Miriam Bright. Hello. Hello. Why is your window open? I was gonna say hello to your brother or just went in. Oh, did he ignore you? He did. Oh, that sucks. I don't know how to open this. It's locked. Let me in. Unlock doors. I see. I was doing it the wrong way. so cool. It is. It's pretty easy to make. Yeah. Is it? I'm using <laughs> PVC pipe. You're such a dad. Oh look. <laughs> it doubles as water pipe during the summertime. Wow. Sorry, what did you just say? They're quacking around. Do puffins quack? Uh, no. <laughs> you keep it out there. your hat hair so please mind not. Miriam Bright was super super cute it was really nice hanging out with my dad and just chatting and all of those things we also got a hot chocolate and a cookie <laughs> both of us were like oh last time I've had a cup of hot chocolate it was very wholesome after that I went to the grocery store and I picked up some groceries as I'm like entirely empty we're gonna do a little haul of everything that I got at the grocery store it's really not a lot of exciting stuff okie dokie some extra lean ground beef I'm going to actually cook this this evening I'm gonna have some tacos for supper I've been feeding tacos like something sick lately so uh taco time Thanks. 
some mint. I got this for sangria that I'm gonna make for a little girls night with charcuterie. Me and my friends do it every year. That'll be on the 22nd. So I, I have got it pretty far in advance, but it's supposed to be rosemary, not mint. And all the rosemary is pretty much sold out. I'm still gonna take a look at a few other places, but I got mint as a backup, which I did do once before. And I actually really like the flavor of it. So I got this just in case it ends up running out as well. At least I have something to garnish. It really just makes such a difference if you actually garnish a cocktail. Like, it looks so much better. So, mint for cocktails. I have never tried this type of yogurt before, but it's called Too Good. It has two grams of sugar, I think, and then eight grams of protein. So I'm gonna give this stuff a try. I am a large yogurt fan, so I'll let you know how it fares. Bananas. Sugar Twin. This is the artificial sweetener that I use for all of my coffee. And sometimes if I'm baking and I don't want to use all sugar, I'll use some sweetener. I find Sugar Twin tastes the best of all those sweeteners. Like I don't like Splenda at all. I find it really tastes like Splenda, but this just tastes really, really sweet. So this is what I use. So this is some Borzon. Big and balsamic. Balsamic is one of my favorite flavors. I meant to get a balsamic glaze. That is something I'm gonna have to get pretty soon. I just love balsamic and I, I find around this time of year, I'm always eating like cheese and crackers and meats. Like it's just the season four, making little mini personal charcuterie boards. The guy I work with, he is always cooking stuff. He seems to be great in the kitchen and also really likes healthy stuff. So he was saying that if you fry veggies up in like a big tray and add some balsamic to it, it's really good. So I would like to try that as well as I'm trying to eat healthier just in general and I'm trying to get more veggies in because I neglect eating veggies. I want to find ways to include them more that is tasty and not boring because I feel like that's the main reason why I don't really do it because I feel like it's just boring and I, I want something yummy, something that's gonna get that dopamine. Anyways, some Borzon. They've got a cranberry and pepper one that's also really, really good. Some sugar-free rock stars. They were $2.50 each, so I picked up a couple of those. Frozen hash browns, they were on sale. And I love a hash brown. I don't know why I never buy hash browns. <laughs> So I have some hash browns. How many times can I say hash browns in one sentence? Frozen Italian Swedish meatballs are already cooked, so you can literally just put these in the microwave. I'm sure some people think that's gross, but as mentioned, I am lazy slash have ADHD and try to cut corners as much as possible. So if putting some meatballs in the microwave stops me from eating takeout, then you raise me. That's a win for me. Pork and vegetable pot stickers. Lately, like spring rolls, pot stickers, those types of dishes, I just like, I crave all the time. Something crunchy with some vegetables, but a meat. I haven't tried this exact one before, but I'm gonna give it a go. I love pork as well. Like pork, anything in this genre of food. I have high hopes for these, very clearly. Moving on. Some cranberries, also for the sangria that I'm making. Some fruit roll-ups. There's a reason for these. And it's these, cream grapes. There's this random snack that I keep craving lately. Especially when I'm a little bit fried. It was a snack that was shown to me by someone in summer camp when I was younger. I was never allowed to have stuff like this growing up, but my friends were, so they would always share their snacks with me. And one of the ones that they shared was taking a grape has to be a green or a black grape. It can't just be like a red grape. It also has to be fresh, like not a squishy grape. It has to be like a fresh, like crunchy grape. Then you wrap it in a fruit roll-up. Not the big sheet fruit roll-ups. It has to be like one of these kind of fruit roll-ups. You wrap it all around and it's just a delightful, sweet, sugary, delicious treat. It's just a snack that I like. There's no health value to it whatsoever. I just enjoy it. So I eat it on occasion. A couple chicken Caesar salads, something quick and easy I can either take with me to work or I can have after work if I'm feeling really tired. Some protein shakes. These are actually just milk. This isn't even actually a protein shake. It's just milk that is high in protein. It's just ultra filtered milk. If you haven't tried these, you really should, especially if you don't like protein. It doesn't taste at all like protein powder because they're, it's, it's again, it's not protein powder. It's just milk. It's just milk that's filtered in a way that makes it crazy high in protein. So I got two of the chocolate ones. I go through all the different flavors depending on my mood. The vanilla one's also delicious. The strawberry one's nice. They're all just really tasty. Very expensive. This was a splurge, but they're very tasty. And I'm trying to get more protein in because protein's always important. Some Caesar dressing for the salads. I'm gonna have this with the Borzon and maybe also some salami. I think this is salami. Yeah, roasted garlic and Asiago. That sounds delicious. Never tried this kind before, but I'm a sucker for anything garlic, so we're gonna give it a go. Oh, my God. It's squished. Why would he put it in like that? I didn't even notice. Some sourdough. I haven't had sourdough in forever. I don't know why. I just haven't been... I haven't really been buying a lot of groceries. This is the first grocery trip, like actual grocery trip I've taken in a long time. I keep just kind of like buying quick things to get through each day. I don't love it. I don't love living like this. <laughs> but I've just been really busy and overwhelmed and broke. Um, 
And yeah, I've just been struggling. So I haven't really been grocery shopping. Some sliced deli meat, ham. I always get ham if I get deli meat. This is also kind of like a combo here. So I have some cheddar and pretzel mozzarella. And then I have some mini pitas. This is a snack that my dad used to make for me all the time when I was growing up. He'd slice the top off the pita, add some shredded cheese, cook it in the oven so that the outside got crispy and the inside was nice and warm and gooey. Really good snack. I just want to have some meals and snacks that are easy to make that I know I like so that, again, I'm not buying takeout or eating quick not so healthy meals you know blueberry bagels taco kit for the tacos some sour cream for the tacos and just for life this was like kind of a little treat it's a strawberry parfait that was just in the bakery section it was two dollars off so it expires like tonight i would imagine <laughs> just a little trifle parfait kind of treat it looked good and i find these days if i don't like have a little sweet treat or some kind of treat put aside for myself at night that's when i kind of binge a lot haven't been diagnosed with binge eating disorder but that's probably because i've never really been honest with <laughs> Any doctors about my eating habits? I find it really embarrassing. Um, I've always liked eating, you know, volume, eating larger amounts, and I've always liked treats. And I find if I restrict myself too much and I'm, you know, wanting a little bit of junk food or wanting a little sweet treat at the end of the night and I don't have it, I then just start kind of gouging, trying to find that, that dopamine hit of other foods. It's a whole thing. <laughs> so I try and have a bit of balance. I'm still struggling with it, if I'm being honest. I still struggle with balance. I still struggle with binging and food is still a struggle for me, but I'm working on it and my mindset around food has improved a lot i think so having this as a little treat later that will kind of curb my sweet tooth yeah i think that's everything oh no coffee k-cup pods i always get my cafe it's just it's very safe and good and i also got old faithful i love diet pepsi i love diet pepsi i love it I love it. I kind of put that away as I was chatting with you. So now I'm just gonna put on a little vlogmas video while I cook my tacos. I'm gonna eat my tacos, savor them. I am quite hungry. I haven't put enough fuel in my body today. So it's gonna be great. And then we're going to edit for the remainder of this evening. We'll be clean up. I got pepper flakes and also I'm gonna do a little, let's get the stove going. I went for a little thrift today. And even though I already did a grocery haul, I thought I would do another haul, but this time of thrifted goodies. I'm actually really excited about all the things that I got. I also thrifted some gifts. I got the random idea to thrift a couple gifts for Christmas this year. I've already put that aside because my friends and family watch these videos. At least I think they do. <laughs> Hello guys. So I don't want them to see what I have gotten them, but I will show you what I got for myself. First and foremost. Oh, I just realized there's a gift inside this. I'm just gonna put you over there and pretend that that wasn't a thing. Okay. So I decided to pick up two new stockings. If you watched my apartment tour slash decorating for Christmas, you'll know that I only had one stocking for my kitty cats, but I have two kitty cats. I was initially gonna look for just a little tiny stocking, but I saw this one there and absolutely fell in love with it. And it's $3. Oh, I just realized this is missing off it, but that's okay. That is totally fixable. Um, And then I also saw this one, which is also beautiful. And it was $2 and I like them together. So I thought, Maybe I'll just get two more stockings. Stockings for the kitty cats. Staying with the Christmas theme. I don't think you're gonna be able to see the entire thing, but uh, it's like a little Christmas banner. Very much my aesthetic. Very cute and only $4 crazy. Oh, I see another gift and another gift. I didn't clear this bag out well enough. Oopsies, my bad. I'm just gonna do all the Christmas stuff first, I guess. A candle, it was $4.99. Some of that cat hair, good. Okay, I believe this is the last Christmassy thing. I picked up these fluffy socks. They have like the sticky grippers on the bottom. I just really like them. And my feet have been very cold lately. I've been wanting like a big fuzzy pair of socks. I'm hoping these will suffice. These were $3.99. This isn't Christmas, it's winter. A pair of earmuffs. I'm gonna wash them before I put them on my head. For the cheerleading team that I coach, we are in the Christmas parade this year and we wanted to do earmuffs, but it was impossible to find earmuffs in this city. I don't know if we made it too long, or if they're just becoming really popular again, but we could not find earmuffs anywhere. The couple that we did find found like three pairs total. They were all ugly. <laughs> so I saw these there today and I, I wanted like a fuzzy pair like this. I wish they were white. I really wanted a white pair, but gray will suffice. These were $3.99. This next item I got basically for this season. I can wear it for lots of different occasions. I just often go with a black bag. However, I really enjoy this style of bag, like the vintage clip bag. Vintage, I'm sure that's a big surprise and I like it. <laughs> but I thought it'd be really nice to have a red bag for Christmas 
Christmas. I have thrifted a couple of dresses that I'd like to wear over the Christmas holidays. I don't know where. I don't really have a lot of extravagant plans, but I would like to wear them somewhere. And I also did thrift a pair of red heels that I think could look super nice. So like pairing these together with a black dress makes it a bit more festive. And I do just like this style of purse anyway. So I thought it'd be nice to have, to have a bigger one. I do have one, but it's quite small and it's just like a hand purse. It doesn't have a, a body strap and I hate not having a body strap. I hate having to hold things. So the fact that this is a bit bigger, can hold more things and has a longer strap, I thought were some bonuses that made me think purchasing this was a necessity. I mean, it really wasn't very expensive. It was $7.49. Okay, I did pick up a few pairs of shoes. So I'm gonna show you those. The first, which they look a bit rough on the inside, but that's fine. I'm gonna give them a nice little clean before I wear them. So they're a pair of like ballet flats that actually have these like ballet type crosses on the front of them. I've been kind of wanting a pair like this because of Alexa Sunshine, of course. <laughs> she has a pair of like ballet flats. I think she has a pair that like laces up her whole leg. I doubt that I will ever find a pair like that here, but this I thought was a close second. The fact that I am buying a pair of flats is fucking baffling. <laughs> Baffling. I was so done with flats. And over the years, I've just been wearing higher and higher and higher shoes. Like I'm a big platform girly now. I love a platform. So the fact that I'm purchasing actual flats is, is pretty baffling to me, but fashion trends really do come back around and it is wild. Either way, I really like the whole like ballerina aesthetic. I think it's super cute. And I do have like a wrap top that I think fits that aesthetic super well. Also thrifted, big surprise. So I thought that pairing these together could be really cute. I don't know with what outfit. I don't know where I'm going. Maybe I'll just do a styling video someday. Let me know if you'd like to see that. I've never done like a styling video, nor do I feel like I'm a fashionista, but I have been thrifting a lot lately and I do really love it. And I try to put together some fun outfits. So maybe if I did like a styling video that could inspire me, inspire you. I don't know. Sometimes I forget what I have in my closet and I really don't have that extravagant of a life. I don't do many fun things. I'm not very cool. <laughs> so I don't have any places to wear a lot of the cool pieces I pick up. So uh, maybe I'll do a styling video. Let me know if you'd like to see that. They were $11.99. Not ideal, but they're also leather. And I believe that they're real leather. Like they have some weight to them. I don't know what this brand is, but I would imagine that these are a nicer shoe. Like they don't feel very cheap. I'm really excited about this. It's another pair of shoes. If you're confused about my excitement in my thrift with me for Christmas, Vlogmas day two, I had saw these at the thrift store and I was going to buy them, but I decided not to because they're $20, which is just not, that's a lot for a thrifted shoe in my opinion. But I remember them being in really good condition, which they are, like the soles are barely worn out. And I don't have a type of shoe like this. They're kind of trendy at the moment. I really want a pair and I regretted not picking these up so hard. I thought about them so many times after I left. I wish I had to purchase them. It was a regret. So the fact that I went back and they were still there. I was really surprised. It's not for everyone, I guess. It is for me, however. I really like these. I'm so happy they were still there. Again, 20 bucks isn't ideal, but I wanted them, okay? <laughs> I really wanted them. And they are in great condition. Sue me. Sue me. Me at me. It's just me that's getting mad at me, so. Lastly in this bag, not the last thing I picked up, but last in this bag, which is another pair of shoes. It's just a pair of high top Converse. Yes, they are pretty worn in. That is fine. Every time I go to any thrift store, I look at the shoes for a pair of high top black Converse. I have like two pairs of low top black Converse. I wear them to the gym. I wear them to work, but I don't have a pair of high top Converse. High top everything is just more in fashion right now. And I can't help it, but my brain wants things that are more in fashion. <laughs> I used to hate high tops, hated them for the longest time. I would never wear anything high top. I'd only look for low tops. And now I'm starting to hate the silhouette of it. When I look in the mirror and there's like that slight gap in some of my jeans or pants to the floor, and then I can see my socks and then the shoe, I hate it. I feel like it's so ugly. I've been doing that for years and never thought I was ugly before, but suddenly I think it's really ugly. <laughs> So now I have some high top black Converse. They weren't super expensive either because they're not in great condition. I'm assuming that's why. I think they were like 12 bucks. $12.99. They're not in terrible shape though. Okay, I do have two more items, I think. And it is some housewares, some homewares. Housewares, that's actually what it's called, cool. I didn't know if I was just like pulling that term out of my ass. This is a little picture I thought I could put in my bathroom. I did mention that in the new year, I'm probably gonna be doing a little bathroom reno on a budget, on a budget. Mainly just painting, getting some Etsy stickers for the tiles, sprucing a few things up. Like I I'm probably not gonna change out the vanity. I might try and change out the hardware if I can, but either way. I saw this, it was less than four dollars i really like the aesthetic of course because it is vintage looking so i thought that it would fit right into the apartment and then lastly oh i'm sure you can see you <laughs> this is probably fun looking um yeah this is my table that's a lift top some of my christmas decor <laughs> that's how i have you propped up and you're plugged in anyways i thought this was really nice it's real wood and it was 7.49 i knew that if i left this i would be thinking about it and sad so 
there's a little impromptu thrift haul for you. I wasn't planning on going to the thrift store at all, to be honest. I was looking for some gifts to be fair. I popped into the thrift store and had the idea of maybe thrifting a couple things if I found anything that suited. And boy, oh boy, did I ever. I found some like really perfect gifts. The universe works in mysterious ways sometimes, you know? Like maybe it sent me there. Maybe I had the notion to go thrifting because there were certain items that were destined for my friends. Or maybe I'm just really impulsive and I love to go thrifting. Who knows? I don't know, but who knows? Could be either. All right, I'm going to take off. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have yet to do that. It's that little red button down below. But it should be white, not red. If it's red, that means you haven't subscribed yet. And you should really, really do that. Why? I don't know. But it'd be great if you did. I'd love it a lot and I'd appreciate you. And I would imagine good karma's coming your way. Can't confirm, but I would imagine. Can't be bad karma, right? That can't be bad karma. You put it that way. It cannot be bad karma. So it's probably good karma. So subscribe for good karma. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you again. Love you lots. See you in the next video. Bye.